Oh, it's summertime again. Do you feel the heat of the sun when you go outside? How about the hot air splashing on your face? Even we have a ceiling, the heat of our rooftops still penetrating inside our house. That's why it's very hot. Do you know that the degree of hotness or coldness of an object is called temperature? Even nowadays, body temperature is very important because in every establishment, they check your temperature before you can enter in restaurants, malls, offices, drugstores, and more. And the very basic device to measure temperature is called thermometer. But nowadays, we have a thermal scanners to check if you have a high, normal, or low temperature. In some places, we have a low temperature. It even dropped to zero or below zero temperature. It means that the weather there is very cold or very ice cold for sure. But in some places, the temperature is very high. That's why the weather there is very hot and of course, it's very dry with burning sensation. The main point is that if the temperature is high, we have a hot weather or we have a hot object. And if the temperature is low, we have a cold weather or cold objects. It's trivia time! Do you know where is the coldest place on earth? The coldest place on earth right now is the South Pole in Antarctica where temperatures are currently sitting at a cool negative 38 degrees Celsius. How about the hottest place on earth? It's the Death Valley, an arid area of national park in the Mojave Desert isn't just hot. It's the hottest, or at least it holds the official Guinness World Record of the highest ever recorded air temperature on Earth is scorching 57 degrees Celsius. Imagine how hot is that? Now, let's talk about the transfer of heat. Heat can be transferred in solid, liquid, gas, and empty space or vacuum. Heat travels through solid objects and it's called conduction. Some solid materials allow heat to follow through easily and they are called conductors. They absorb heat easily and faster than other solid objects. Example of solid conductors are metal spoon, roof, coins, and more. While other solid materials, heat passes slowly or not at all. These materials are called insulators. And some insulators are wood, plastic, and ceramic. Heat also travels in liquid and gases, and it's called convection. Example of convection in liquid is that when water is heated in a kettle, the molecules at the bottom get heated at first. The heated molecules move and rise, pushing the top molecules which are cold to the bottom. The colder molecules sink, yet heated at the bottom and moves up. Warm fluid rises and cold fluid sinks, forming currents. This movement continues until the fluid is evenly heated and you see bubbles forming. How about examples of convection in air? Warm air rises, expands, and cools. Cool air sinks. Convection is the reason why we have wind movements and local breezes. During daytime, air over the land is heated. It rises and expands. Cool air over the sea moves towards the land. That's why you feel a refreshing breeze by the sea during daytime. 
Heat can also transmit it across empty space or vacuum. This is called radiation. Radiation does not depend on the presence of matter to transfer heat. The heat wave we receive the sun is radiant energy. Radiant energy travels as waves through space. No, not solid, not liquid, not air, but through space. Heat wave hit the earth and cause warming. Our atmosphere traps the warmth. Your house gets warm when the sun waves or rays travel through a window and are trapped in your house. Heat waves are invisible. All warm objects radiate or give off heat waves. Okay class, remember this. Radiation is the fastest mode transfer of heat. Because radiation travels at the speed of light, which is very quick. Second is convection in liquid and gases. And the slowest mode of transfer of heat is conduction because it takes place from particle to particle. Okay class, let's sum it up. Heat travels through conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction is the travel of heat through solid materials. Convection is the travel of heat through liquid and gas. And lastly, radiation can also transmit it across empty space or vacuum or radiant energy. Okay now, let me see if you can answer these questions. Are you ready? Let's start! Okay class, that's all for today. And always remember, knowledge is power. See you next time. Bye-bye.